Here's a story about your girl named Nan. She was dun 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 dun. I don't know the word, y'all. That's all I know. But anywho, y'all know the Brady Bunches was like jamming. I don't know all the words. Don't really need to know them all. But I do need my husband to like write like me something to go along with that. So like I can at least get like a bar in. That's what I'm thinking. Or like a hook or something. Because I think that was a hook. I don't know. Anywho, so I'm gonna mess. I have a message I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, it's basically about celebrating. Like we need to get in the routine of just celebrating one another. We gotta start celebrating one another. We gotta start putting emphasis on different things and inspiration and inspiring people and uplifting people and all this kind of stuff because something happened about a week ago. I'm just kidding, but I don't know. Something happened and all of a sudden it was no longer. Um, a great thing to compliment someone. It was no longer a great thing to encourage someone. It was no longer a great thing to uplift someone or to help a person see the other side, that something was brighter, that something was bigger, that something was better, that something was coming along, that God was working with them, that something good. We have got into the routine where we got petty spirits. We got spirits of hate. We got the spirit of envy, jealous, and hate, as my mother likes to call it. We just have all these bad spirits that we just want to throw out on people. Like a person calling and say, hey, I got a new job. What you quit your job for? Didn't you like your other job before? How much is job paying? Is it closer to your house? Mm, I guess. All that kind of stuff. Or you tell somebody like, oh, you know, um, I'm, I just started dating. <laughs> Girl, who? Who is he? Do I know him? Is it any of your business if you know him? Uh, what kind of job he got? He lived by himself. He lived with his mama. He got roommates. Like, what did he do for a living? Is that any of your business? The person said they started dating. Not we, not you and me, not you, but myself. See what I'm saying? But we turn this into a totally different thing. And then it goes into a negativity and it discourages people around us from really hearing what we have to say. When you may have some great tips about dating, but you come off with all that hate, all that animosity. And don't nobody want to hear that. Anybody got time for that? People are not telling you they don't have time for that. They're telling you things like, hey, girl, let me call you right back. Or, oh, OK. Little stuff like that. Or you call and you wonder why your phone call just went to voicemail or, you know, whatever. But people are really not entertaining that. But yet that's what you're giving. We have to understand that we have to be very cautious of what we put out there. Not because of what other people may think, other people may say. Dude, Jesus be watching. Like God is on watch all the time. This is why you need to be cautious. Because see, it's this rule he got. Okay. I don't know if you heard about it, but he got this rule. Okay. It's a scripture. Now, I don't know the entire scripture. It's pretty simple. But it's like basically... You need to know that God knows. You can't lie to him. You can't hide. You can't play this off. But if you sow bad seeds, you're going to reap bad seeds. That's what the man said. He said it in his word. Like you can't go around bashing people, hating on people, being envious of people, pushing out all this negativity on people and thinking it's going to be okay. Thinking like, I can do that and I'm going to still ball till I fall. No, you're not. You're going to be balling, but boo, best believe you're going to fall like real hard. You're going to be in the midst of wherever you think you are and everything is going to seem like it's lining up. And all of a sudden, it's time to pick up your harvest. See what I'm saying? Like you really have to understand that what you're putting out there for others, you're really putting it out there for yourself because you plant bad seeds out there. And guess what? You want to pick them bad seeds back up. And I don't know if y'all know how it is to like actually go through and harvest once you've planted seeds, but harvest, picking up your harvest is work. Now, me personally, I'm OK with picking up my harvest and doing my work. If my harvest is like some good harvest. I don't want to be out there picking up harvest. I'm not even going to be able to sell. I'm not going to be able to use. Like, But you're going to have to pick up that harvest. Like, It's going to be completely useful for you. It's going to make you miserable. It's going to make you sad. It's going to make you feel like, oh my gosh, why me? Because you did it to yourself. The man said in the Bible, so is a man's soul. So shall he reap. That's what it says. Like, come on, people. We got to get it together. You got to start sowing better seeds. So when someone calls you and they say, hey, I got a new job. Really? Where? Oh, I'm so excited for you. Oh, my gosh. Thank God. Because I know you've been praying for a new job. I pray that this is what you've been praying for. God can't. Girl, come through. You got to let them know. Come through, Holy Spirit. Come. Did he? And I always say this. Now, this is totally politically incorrect. But I'm always like, like the black people say, won't he do it? I have no idea what that necessarily means. But I kind of do. But I'm just like, where did that come from? Because like black people are always like, won't he do it? And I'm for real. I'm like them. Like, of course, I'm black too. But I'm like, won't he do it? 
Because you got to understand, won't he do it? It will go both ways. Won't he do it? Won't he make you reap your bad harvest? Because with the other people that are seeing that you poured these bad seeds on, they looking. So when your bad harvest come through, they looking at you and you like, oh, I got this going on. I got this. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe all this has happened to me. They looking like, I don't know why not. Because when I had my situation going on, you acted like this towards me. So I don't know why not. Like, I don't know why this is a surprise to you. So I would just highly encourage you guys to just motivate, encourage, uplift, inspire, all of that great stuff to other people because that's what you want to return. Basically, what I'm saying to you is don't pour for someone else where you're not willing to drink. And that's real. Peace out. Have a good day. Hope it helped you. If it did not, oh, well, maybe the next one will. That's actually kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. Go, 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 go. Just kidding.